what we have learned over the years is that many brain systems are absolutely dependent on and organized by input from the environment. Input from the environment can shape a brain. It's like a sculpture where a sculpture starts with a lot more clay or marble than they end up with because they gradually remove more and more substance to reveal a form. And that process is a major mechanism that enables experience or input from the environment to change the brain. There's a lot more basic research to be done, but what we do know is this process of pruning occurs at different times in different brain systems. So what this means is the peak time of neuroplasticity is different for vision, for hearing, for language, for attention, and everything. So we have to know when those time periods are. So the kinds of inputs that children get really matter. It changes brain anatomy, brain physiology, brain chemistry, and gene expression. So the kinds of inputs that children get really matter.